Hello Linux fans, Rob here and today we have a preview of a Linux Mint 18 KDE edition and this is a beta. I've been looking forward to this release, uh, to the beta release and, and I'm you know, certainly looking forward to the uh, final release. As most of you are aware, Linux Mint has a huge following. It continually ranks one or two in DistroWatch and I don't put all credence into the ranking system of DistroWatch. There are certainly other distributions that are very good distributions, uh, being very creative that um, are, are in lower rankings but deserve higher rankings. So uh, anyway, but certainly there is a large following with Linux Mint, uh, a large community behind Linux Mint. And if you're new to Linux, this is certainly a distribution to take a look at. And the reason simply is that uh, the way it's configured makes it easy for someone new to go in and, and set up and configure uh, applications and, and various settings and uh, as well as uh, pretty simple to uh, uh, obtain the, the non-free drivers as well as non-free codecs if you desire. I will add to um, add to that though if you listen to a Linux security podcast or Linux podcast or, or other developers uh, and, and I don't dig into the security of Linux uh, I'm not uh, certainly by no stretch am I uh, uh, educated on the security of Linux but there are developers and Linux security experts who knock Linux Mint on the security side investigate for yourself I would have no issues running Linux as a daily driver so look into that and make your own decisions I just wanted to throw that out because I've heard that from more than two sources over the past couple of weeks and uh, so to me that means it's it's worth mentioning alright so let's go ahead and dig in here and see what we have with Linux Mint 18 beta KDE edition you've got a standard welcome screen here that lists uh, new features documentation apps, drivers, which we talked about earlier. You could click drivers and um, it'll go ahead and scan your hardware and look at the software list to see what matches, uh, what software may match. And so here we have um, unknown Intel Microde. So we could choose that option. I'm not going to do that now but this gives you an idea. So if you had a different video card you may find uh, non-free drivers that are available for that and you could install them here. Um, we are looking at kind of a standard welcome screen. We're looking at the standard desktop here. I've increased the taskbar size as well as the font for improved uh, video of the preview and uh, I've never been super impressed with Linux Mint's icons or themes really. I mean they do a nice job, don't get me wrong, the artwork is very professional. I do like the look of this gray taskbar here. We'll dig into themes in a minute. Uh, I expected to see a, a Linux Mint, and we still may in the final release, um, a Linux Mint icon as opposed to the standard KDE launcher icon. Um, but for the most part once you've installed this is what you'll see so let's go ahead and jump into the menu settings here and see if we see anything different uh, KDE offers you three options for uh, menu launcher so you have a dashboard and we'll switch over to that quickly so that you can see if, if you um, are familiar with uh, the GNOME desktop this will look familiar to you somewhat then you have what was default which is the application launcher and that'll give you categories here at the bottom with then a uh, drill down menu list. Under leave you've got session for lock, log out, switch user, suspend, restart, shutdown, etc. And then my favorite is application menu which is pretty vanilla, pretty plain, pretty boring, but guess what? It's functional, it's efficient. So uh, anyway we'll use this to go through the pre-installed software. Linux Mint, like Ubuntu, does a, a good job of pre-installing a, um, a good mix of software for uh, the everyday user. And um, 
Also, their software repos repositories are um, some of the best. You'll find a, a, an extremely good selection in Linux Mint as well, and we'll dig into that in a minute, but let's just go ahead and look and see here what we have pre-installed under graphics. You have Digicam, uh, GIMP, Gwenview, and Scanlight. Under Internet, we see Firefox, kind of becoming the default there, uh, Kmail, and I uh, recently installed the latest version of Kmail, and I'm really impressed. I actually switched from Evolution over to Kmail, and uh, again, I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, Conversation and KTorrent. Multimedia, you have Amrock, Dragon Player, K3B, Simple Screen Recorder I installed, and VLC Media Player, which you're also starting to see VLC uh, pre-installed on many, many distros. Under Office, we have Contact, LibreOffice, and okay, so Contact is, is part of the KDE PIM. It doesn't look like PIM Suite. It doesn't look like that they've installed the KDE PIM Suite here, just Contact for Contact Management. Uh, under Settings, you have Domain Blocker, Firewall Configuration, uh, of course, Software Sources, Synaptic Package Manager, System Settings, and Upload Manager as well as input method. I, I jumped over that. Under system, we've got backup tool. That's nice. Dolphin. Driver manager, which we looked at earlier. Um, and some of these are redundant. Console, of course. Uh, wallet manager, software manager, synaptic again, update manager, USB image writer, and USB stick formatter. Nice. Let's go into Update Manager. I pre-installed, or excuse me, I installed the updates that were available prior to uh, doing this preview. Um, and so you'll have nothing here uh, as far as updates. But I will say that Linux Mint, uh, one of the things that they do with their updater, uh, it's very popular, is they have a ranking system. I believe it's one through five. And uh, I won't dig into that here. But uh, there's plenty of information about their ranking system as far as sof software updates are concerned. And the whole purpose there is to give you an idea of the um, risk involved, I'll say, uh, with installing that particular um, update. And uh, so let's continue on here. Uh, let's dig into File Manager. And we see standard fare here, nothing no additional icon tweaks or anything. And let's pop over to the About, the Info Center. All right, so what we have here is KDE Plasma version 5.6.5. That is, um, all right, so the latest KDE version is 5.7.3. I'm currently running that on KDE Neon. Um, so this is certainly not cutting edge, but they're after stability here, and uh, I get that. Um, Linux Mint 18, I don't believe, will be a rolling release. I believe that's going to be a long-term support release. And let's go down here to kernel. We have version 4.4. Now this may change. I think 4.7 was just released, so um, an older kernel here. Uh, but again, that could change once the final version is released. All right, so we'll move on. Let's take a look at the theming that's going on here. Now this is the dark theme. Um, we could switch that over to breeze light and apply. And you'll see the change there, but let's look at the... Okay, so you have breeze and Linux Mint. So that's what we had. I changed the to the, to the light theme. We're going to take that back to Linux Mint and that'll give you the uh, dark taskbar there. I'm not going to get into all the details of theming on KDE. You'll find that in um, you'll find that in some of my other reviews. I'm a huge fan of what KDE five is doing, the direction they're heading. Um, it's it's really different than KDE four, which felt heavy and and old and outdated. And I just think that the KDE five team is doing a, a really nice job. I love all of the tweaks and, and themes and things that you can do inside of KDE. 
uh, you could spend a, a half a day or a whole day going in and really tweaking out KDE. And, and so far, my experience has been really positive. And um, so that's all I'm going to say there is uh, we'll move on. This is about Linux Mint, not about KDE. And um, but, but if you're looking for another desktop to try, I highly recommend trying it. Uh, let's bounce around here and see what else we have. Uh, all of the settings look standard KDE fair. Let's see here. Yep, that all looks standard KDE settings. So I'm not seeing anything that stands out in this beta. Um, we went to File Manager. Let's just take a look there. Yeah, nothing nothing unique here standard dolphin uh, under user or instant that's instant messaging okay thought that was user so I'm sure that there's gonna be well let's dig into software manager I'm sure that there's gonna be uh, lots of changes between now and then and and you'll be able to uh, read all about that Probably what I will do is I'll wait for the release to do a detailed review. And um, because at this point they could, there could be lots of changes. Now that took a while to launch actually. And for the most part, for a beta, this feels smooth, smooth and fluid. Um, it doesn't feel like a beta just popping around. But that did take... Uh, some time to launch. Alright, this looks like your standard uh, Linux Mint category of, of uh, software. Linux and Ubuntu, they, really, they do a great job offering um, a great selection of Linux software. And so just on the featured here, some of this installed, but you have Wine for running uh, various Microsoft software inside of Linux. Uh, you have Blender let's see what else we have here that may stand out uh, if you're into desktop publishing I'll just I'm just gonna give a shout out to um, Scribus or Scribus tomato tomato uh, it's excellent piece of software uh, Minecraft and Steam so haven't installed anything uh, let's look over at games they usually have a, a lengthy game selection absolutely yep lots of games here and they're under categories so I love real-time strategy we have wars on 2100 that's a fun game from the good old days and light years not familiar with that but looks like a good selection of games and here's something that you'll appreciate um, if you're fairly new to Linux uh, you're used to uh, fonts from Microsoft more than likely or maybe from a Mac but the core fonts are right here readily available for install and that will install fonts like Arial and uh, Times things like that but uh, right here up top ready for you to uh, to install uh, let's go ahead and do a quick search for Chrome and see what we get so uh, Chromium of course but no Chrome that doesn't surprise me um, so yeah, it looks like looks like nothing major in way of changes for the software manager here. So far, I'm impressed. Um, I'm sure there's lots of um, changes and tweaks and uh, updates that will happen between you know this preview and the actual release. Uh, but you know, just you're you're watching with me here. So far, no major hiccups. Or issues uh, I know something if we're going to try to trigger an issue let's add a widget now KDE 4 used to have problems with their widget system their widget setup uh, you'd, you'd get a widget or two set up and tweaked out the way you like it and it wind up crashing or causing an issue I haven't had that experience with KDE 5 um, running on again uh, KDE Neon it's been very stable for me um, widgets have all worked so um, you know your mileage may vary but let's go ahead and 
plop a few on here and see uh, see what happens. So with the widgets you can left click and hold and you'll get a menu on the right that will allow you to go in and change various settings, rotate the widget. Uh, let's go into folder view settings here. We'll see what happens, see if we can cause issues. Let's go to home. And now you have quick access to uh, folders under home. So we can jump into pictures, for example. So that's a fairly nice widget. Seems to work fine. Let's go in to uh, clock and uh, let's make a totally ridiculous clock size here and see what happens. Yeah, calendar. We'll click and hold there and see. Nope, no issues. And really, even from Linux Mint's beta, I mean, the team does a nice job. I didn't expect, even in the beta, to really see a lot of issues. So, all right, well, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, if there's anything in particular you would like to see in the beta that I did not show in this video, um, drop me a message, and, and I'll do the best I can to, uh, to get that info up for you. There's been a request for a couple of other distros, uh, K-A-O-S or K-A-O-S, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, was requested. And after reading into that, that may be the next uh, video on the horizon. Um, and then we'll just continue to look forward to the um, Linux Mint 18 release. And I uh, hope this helps and we'll catch you next time.